How much are Hawaii football fans willing to dish out to see the UH in the Sugar Bowl? Spread the wealth or keep it to themselves? Where should the bowl money go? And fans looking to wear their team pride are about to find these Sugar Bowl shirts in stores. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Monday, the 3rd of December. It promises to be a priceless game and it will cost you plenty to see it in person. Sugar Bowl tickets cost between $125 and $145, not including service fees and handling charges. But as Jai Cunningham reports, that's the least of your worries if you're thinking about watching in person Hawaii in the Sugar Bowl. Jai? Joe, the travel will be the most expensive part of any trip you're planning by far. We have a five-night package, uh, leaving on the 28th of December, returning on the 3rd of January. They swamped the Panda Travel Agency with hundreds of calls and emails. Some needed a few seats, others a lot more. 76 seats, I should say, and uh, willing to put cash down, collecting all his deposits. Um, he's serious. The Panda told me that they're going to take a thousand people up, so they got to try to three planes. So out of that thousand, I got I got 80 people I gotta, I'm got. i responsible for. And that won't be cheap, Harada warns. So I told my secretary, I said, when you come to work tomorrow and you see $140,000 worth of charges, don't panic. I'm going to do that this afternoon at 4 o'clock. How many passengers in your party? Just one. Okay, do you have an email address? Panda has decided to charter flights, which will cost customers a little more than traveling on scheduled flights, between $2,000 and $2,500. We have a five-night package. Is this all going to be all UH people sitting together? Or? Meanwhile, a steady stream of Warrior football fans made their way to the Stan Sheriff Center to buy bowl game tickets. It's not a yes or no thing whether you're premium or non-premium ticket, season ticket holders. It's how much you've spent on season tickets. Season ticket holders get first crack at the 17,500 tickets given to the University of Hawaii. Many people spent hundreds to get in the game and thousands more to get to it. But most shared the opinion of Diane Uitake. As June Jones said, it's a once in a lifetime thing. And <laughs> if the coach says that, we better go there and cheer on the team. The remaining tickets will go on sale for non season ticket holders on Thursday morning. In the last half hour, UH officials say on the day, that's a computer and uh, also in person at the box office, 5,000 tickets have been sold. That's of the allotted 17,500 tickets. Again, that going to season ticket holders, the general public. It'll be open to you on Thursday. Jai Cunningham, KHON 2 News. The university is looking forward to a multi-million dollar payday for making the bowl game. How that money will be split up remains to be seen. Gina Mangieri explains. Gina? Joe, up to $5 million will be in store, but whether athletics will get to keep it all in their budget or share with the rest of the school is a complex decision even involving state lawmakers. Hawaii making its first ever BCS bowl appearance. A BCS payday is the sugar on top of a priceless undefeated season so far. We believe that number is somewhere between 4.5 and $5 million. Millions for making it to the Sugar Bowl. Just getting there will take a big chunk out of the reward. Boise State spent about $1.5 million of their prize on their BCS logistics last year. After that, we'll sit down and uh, with the university uh, administration and make sure that we spend it in a very wise way. And hopefully that wise way is in, in athletics. The athletics director says hopefully, because how the rest is spent is not solely at his department's discretion. There's the university administration, the board of regents, and the university budget review by the state legislature next session. We go over the budget and we can change it to what we want or when we pass it over to the Senate, they can do the same. The question at issue is whether several million left over after expenses should be given entirely to UH athletics or shared with the broader UH system. From a university standpoint of view, it helps with everything that we do from fundraising to awareness to alumni base and everything else that's involved. Key legislators say they're inclined to see the money stay with athletics especially to upgrade facilities. ESPN came down and criticized us for the kind of facilities we have.
actually spending the money may have to wait until the legislative session wraps up. No question everybody will benefit from it, and uh, we've always tried to be that kind of inclusive program. Now, the Manoa Chancellor, for her part, says she's focusing on the logistics of getting the team and staff to New Orleans. Also a money issue after the windfall, the contract for head coach June Jones is up next summer. All NCAA top 10 coaches make $2 million or more. Jones makes less than half that now, and private donors share the cost. Gina Mangieri, KHON 2 News. So how do you think UH should distribute the BCS appearance money? Should 100% of it go to the UH Athletics Department, or should it be shared with the entire UH system? Log on to our website, khon2.com, to cast your vote. Then tune in to our 10 o'clock news tonight for the results of this unscientific poll. Governor Lingle says she will be among the thousands of Hawaii fans heading to the Sugar Bowl to cheer on the UH. And I'm looking forward to uh, going down to the Sugar Bowl. I've never been to a bowl game myself. And the governor of uh, Georgia is a very good friend of mine, Sonny Perdue. So we're expecting a peaches for pineapples bet to go on. Earlier today, UH showed us some of the Sugar Bowl t-shirt designs that are now being printed. One features the mascots for Georgia and the UH battling out inside the Sugar Bowl trophy. Another t-shirt chronicles Hawaii's undefeated season. University says product royalties this fiscal year have increased 80% compared to the previous season. And this Saturday night, the city will celebrate Hawaii's perfect season at the West Oahu Holiday Electric Light Parade. Members of the UH team will join Mayor Hanneman in leading the parade from the Kapolei Fairgrounds to Kapolei Hale. The parade is scheduled to begin at 6 o'clock. And some postseason honors were handed out today. UH quarterback Colt Brennan, no surprise, named WAC Offensive Player of the Year. Kanoa Leahy will have reaction coming up in sport.